Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the National Museum of Women in the Arts, the only museum in the world solely dedicated to representing the contributions of women uh, to the history of art and other creative arts. Um, just out of curiosity, I often ask this question, how many of you, as, for how many of you is this your first Fresh Talk? Oh, great, well, welcome. Terrific. You'll tell me at cocktail hour how you uh, came to this particular talk and why you came. I always love to hear about. Uh, how, I'd love to hear about that. How many of you are members of the museum? Oh, good. So you guys got a discount. Perfect. It, it is great. I have to say, membership has its benefits. Uh, I have a plaque in front of me that is by Jenny Holzer that was given to me some years ago, when right before we started the Women, Arts, and Social Change programming four years ago. And it says, use what is dominant in a culture to change it quickly. And Holzer is known for these aphorisms uh, that where she tries to place them, in, place us in a new context uh, through those things that we supposedly know best or think about as being part of our history. And I thought that I would bring the plaque tonight because it really speaks to uh, tonight's uh, discussion point, which is writing the balance, how does shifting history's dominant narratives advance gender equity? Obviously, this museum is all about gender equity, and so we're really happy to have uh, Hillary Sample, Jody Patterson, and Amy Padnani here with us this evening to help us think about and talk about how we write the balance. Uh, my job always is to thank our donors who make uh, this, uh, ex this series of uh, talks possible. They have uh, believed in this project and the idea of bringing people together, uh, connecting around issues that face women in the arts and also face women and girls. They are uh, Denise Littlefield Sobel, the Dare Davis uh, Family Fund, uh, the Susan and Jim Swartz Public Program Fund, and then additional funding is provided by the Ravada Foundation, the Bernstein Family Foundation, and the DC Commission on the Arts and Humanities, which receives support from the National Endowment for the Arts. I also want to thank all of you for coming this, tonight. I know it's a beautiful evening, and to come back inside after a day of work or whatever you were up to today, uh, it's really important to us uh, to have you here. I'd also like to introduce uh, Milani Douglas, our Director of Public Programs now, to tell us about tonight's event and the speakers. Milani. Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening. <laughs> Hello. OK, good. Um, thank you for coming to this powerful conversation. We're going to have a lot of fun tonight, and it's going to, I hope it's very engaging for you. I want you, if you can, take a moment in your note, in your uh, program. There's a section for you. If you want to take notes, um, you might want to also check your phone to make sure that your ringer is off. This is going to be one of those conversations that you're not going to want to miss a part of it and um, to be fully, fully present with it. And, and then afterwards, we're going to have an opportunity um, well, one, I'm going to introduce our speakers, but then they're going to have a conversation um, and also present to you some of their work. And we'll have a few moments for some questions. And then afterwards, we'll go downstairs and continue the conversation. We have some games, some festivities, some things to participate in, um, to have some wordplay of your own with your friends, and to meet new people. Um, what I love most about the Women, Art, and Social Change audience is that it is one of the most engaging audiences that I've ever had had a chance to interact with. So I do hope that you have a chance to meet with people that are here. Um, I want, and also if you do, uh, to do anything on social media, put Fresh Talk for Change as your hashtag so that we can find you online. We include this in the conversation um, for, for a long time. So please make sure that we're able to find and see what your responses are, and then also give us some feedback downstairs. We are about to hear from three dynamic women who are using writing as an equalizer in the push for gender equity. 
Amy Panini, Hillary Sample, and Jody Patterson, they work in different fields. However, they represent a groundswell of individuals and collectives who are writing to achieve a balance that has never existed before. And, and correcting the archaic and an inhumane practice that I would say, I would call it inhumane, of pushing a singular narrative. But times are changing and we're using words to turn over every stone. People around the world are using the past and present technology to write and share and preserve their stories. Many people are returning to journal writing, recipe writing, documenting, Wikipedia-thons, anything to push a nuanced and layered narrative of humanity. People are contributing to public history in a way that's expanding the lens on the world. I, this movement is evidence in the work of our speakers today. Now I will introduce the speakers um, in order of their presentation. Hillary Sample. She is the co-founder of most uh, MOS Architects and Ar Associate Professor of Columbia University at their School of Architecture, Planning, Preservation, and she focuses on the intersection of architecture, health, environments, technology, and design. Through her writing class and her creation of writing programs, Hillary pushes students and members of the architectural community to write about women architects and their contributions to the field and providing more source materials. Um, social activist, entrepreneur, and writer Joe Judy Patterson has been lauded for her activist work with Hillary, by Hillary Clinton. Um, the ad, she's also an advocate uh, and a part of the family. She's been, excuse me, she's been, the, part of me. Let me calm down. <laughs> so let me just admit that I, so let me just admit, I'm a fangirl of all these women, right? So this program is really personal to me because I've been fangirling for about a year, and now it's happening, and, um, and it's really showing up as I'm presenting them. So you all get to see me fangirl out. <laughs> this is what it looks like, um, because I'm just so thrilled about what they are doing. And so Jody Patterson, she's been in Cosmopolitan, she's been in Essence. If you ever get a chance to follow her IG, like if you need a class in social media, she has it for you. Um, she's on the board of the human rights, of human rights Organizations and was named the United Nations as a champion of change. And she has this amazing book called a Bo The Bold World. And she delivers what is called a courageous and poetic testimony on family and the self and the learning and unlearning we must do for the ones that we love. Um, and our next person, Amy Panini, is I created a highly collaborative pro project called the Overlook Series. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but what she did was basically go back into the archives and see who are the people that were not presented in the obituaries. And in the, her first year, the team wrote over 50 obituaries. I mean, of people like Zora Neale Hurston, Ida B. Wells. I mean, she has so many stories to, to share with you, of people that you're like, you had no idea idea of what women and people of color have contributed to what we call our collective history. So I'm going to stop fangirling and I'm going to let them come up and give their presentations and thank you all so much for coming this evening.